Hi everyone! In this content, we will scientifically analyze how to raise a tail in an ollie. Let me ask you a question. While you do have to push the nose forward to raise a tail, do you really think pushing the nose forward brings the nose forward when your body pulls your front foot up? If you wish to learn more, please join a journey of science with Why the Trick. As everyone says, you must push the nose forward to level your ollie. But something makes it difficult and we must understand its physics. Now let's pay attention to the difference between the rising speed of the nose and that of the board's center of gravity. When you pop the tail, the nose and the board's center of gravity move upward, while the front foot slows down the rising speed of the nose. The rising speed of the board's center of gravity continues going up and turns the board around the nose. In other words, how your front foot controls the nose determines whether the tail lifts. Applying only a horizontal force to your front foot is a common mistake. Because when you pop, your body receives upward momentum and pulls your front foot with it, which, when combined with the horizontal force, brings your front foot diagonally upward. So you must apply a downward force to your front foot and offset the upward force to help the tail rise effectively. Now you may object to pushing your front foot down. We've all landed on the front foot and done an awkward ollie. Moreover, pressing it down when we are trying to jump up is counterintuitive too. On the other hand, there is a crucial difference between offsetting your body's upward momentum and pushing it down faster than that. When you lower your front foot to offset the upward force, you lower it relative to the position of your body. And it never goes down on an absolute scale. On the other hand, if you lower your front foot faster than the speed required to offset the rising speed of your body, your front foot drags your board down, resulting in an only where the front foot lands first. So, how much should you lower the nose? Ultimately, the strength of pop determines how much you must hold your front foot down. So, although I can't say for sure, I try to lower my front foot about 10 cm below the highest point. Although a small distance of 10 cm, it widens the difference in rising speeds between the nose and the board's center of gravity. Let's see the downsides of pushing the nose forward without counteracting the upward force of the body. In fact, you can level your board only by pushing the nose, as you can slow down the nose's movement to an extent. But in this way, it takes time for the board to level, as the difference in the rising speed between the nose and the board's center of gravity remains close. As a result, by the time it levels, it either comes down low, or may step out of your body's center of gravity by having to push it too far. With that said, assuming you manage to move your front foot horizontally, you must bend your back knee so the tail can come up. When you lower your front foot in the air, your entire body rotates toward your front foot. Since the back foot receives the same direction of force, it rises and gets closer to your chest. And avoid forcing to lift your back foot, otherwise it loses contact with the tail. It is always helpful to utilize the force of lowering your front foot to raise your back foot. If you wish to check your ollie objectively, you can always use wider tricks motion converter. Upload a video, and the system automatically converts it into an interactive 3D animation. Please make good use of it. Next time, we will discuss timing, which is essential for higher and more stable ollies. If you like this content, please subscribe to Wider Trick, and let's see you in the next video. Until next time.